Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So I just wanted to present to you a new software by my friends from MacFun, and uh, they created a really cool plugin called Noiseless Pro. The idea of Noiseless Pro is to do a better job than Lightroom and than any other software out there to take care of noise. And so to give you a little demonstration, uh, I'm going to take this photo from New York. This photo I shot from a chopper uh, at 8000 ISO. This is the RAW file on retouch. And their plugin works with Lightroom and works with RAW files, but also works with iPhone. I'm first going to show it to you on the RAW file. So let me zoom in so you can see the disaster. It's uh, This one is for a book that I, a book I'm doing in New York. And so the editor wanted a very clean photo and look the quantity of noise. Okay, so I'm going to do a basic retouching. Uh, and then we're going to compare Lightroom noise reduction and MacFun software noise reduction. So let's go. First, I'm going to put up the shadows because I want to make this a bit brighter. I'm going to bring down the highlights. And then I'm going to do my white points. If you don't know what I'm doing, check out my YouTube channel where you will see tons of videos I'm explaining this workflow. Okay, and then I'm going to do my black point. Okay, so that's the contrast of the photo. I think I want to make the photo a little bit brighter so we can see the noise better and maybe add a bit of contrast. Okay, on the white balance, I think I'm going to go even more towards the blue a little bit and add a bit of magenta. Voila, to make it a, a more shiny photo. Now check out the retouching got the noise uh, out even more. Okay, now before I do any noise reduction things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to right click, edit, and open it up in Noiseless Pro, which is here. Okay, and I'm going to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment. So while this is opening, I'm just going to stay on Lightroom. And I'm going to do my noise reduction in Lightroom, and then we're going to compare the results. So this is not opening up Noiseless Pro, but I'm going to go back to Lightroom. Boom. And uh, let's zoom in and let's see what uh, Lightroom can do for us. So here is the sharpening and noise reduction. So I'm going to put the noise reduction like very strong. I usually go up to 20. On this one, I'm going to go like up to 40. Then I'm going to do some sharpening, at least 50 of sharpening. And then I'm going to do some masking where I'm holding on the Alt key. And basically anything which is black is not going to get sharpened. Okay, I don't want any sharpening on the sky. So I'm, I'm putting the masking very far. So now I'm at 64 sharpening, noise reduction at 40. I'm even going to go at 50 on noise reduction. And you can see how it is, okay? That's probably the best I can get out of, uh, of Lightroom. So now let's jump over to Noiseless Pro. And right away the software is... Um, let me show the preset. The software is going to detect what kind of file it is and it's going to propose uh, basically a, a, a handling for it. So right now I'm zooming at 200% and you can see already it's pretty amazing. Okay, this is the original photo. This is with the noise reduction. You got here some basic preset which is lightest, light, moderate, medium, intense, strong. Uh, right now, it detected that there was a lot of noise, so it went on the strongest. I can just go to extreme if I want, uh, but it doesn't do any good, or I can go on strong if I want. Okay, why not? I'm going to go back on strongest, which I think is good for this one. And you can also go here to adjust, and you got different adjustments. But honestly, what I've tried so far is just the, the presets just on the go do the really good job. Uh, you can add some more structure to it, which is going to... Structure is going to make basically more details. Uh, I can increase the edges of the structure, uh, which is basically, yeah, just going to make the details pop a little bit. Same thing here. I can bring it back some, bring back some details. Um, and uh, voila, basically that's it. I'm not going to go into all the little, you know, uh, sliders here, but the idea is that uh, you can fine choose. But honestly, just using this very easy to read preset, you'll be happy. Once you're finished, you click Apply, and now we are ready to go back to Lightroom and compare the two. So this is the original RAW file. I'm gonna, the original RAW file, I'm going to give it a three star. And this is the photo retouched by MacFun Software. I'm going to give it a two star. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the contrary. Three star is what has been retouched by MacFun, and two star is what has been retouched by Lightroom. I'm going to select both of the photo and I'm going to press C on the keyboard. C is going to put into compare mode. I'm going to press shift tab to put this in full screen. So on my right, uh, we have 
Oh, I don't remember again. So this one is the DNG is a two star. Sorry. So on my right, the two star is what the best that Lightroom could give. And uh, on my left, sorry, and on my right is MacFun. Check out the difference. This is with 50 noise reduction on Lightroom. This is with MacFun. I mean, I've never seen something like this. It's unbelievable. And it, it not only works with RAW files, but it also works. Um, let me go back in full screen mode. It also works with iPhone photo. This is an iPhone photo, believe it or not. It is an iPhone photo that I took. But check out the noise reduction on this. There's a lot of noise, especially here in the wall. Um, I'm going to right click, edit, and edit in Noiseless Pro. Now, it's a Mac only software. Uh, just so you know, I know a lot of people are on Windows and they're very sorry about that. And the reason why it's a Mac only software is simply because, uh, you know, they really made it for the Mac. Okay, so on this one, it went on light, but you see all the color noise that there is still left. So I think I'm going to go on um, intense on this one. Okay, intense is doing a good job, except that there is still a lot of color noise there. But check out the, the I mean, I'm zoomed in at 200%. I don't want to do that thing too much on this photo. I'm going to go to 100%. And on my right is Mac Fun, and on the left is the original photo. Okay, uh, there's still some, some things to be done here. So let's go to uh, Strongest, see what it's going to give me. Strongest is, yeah, it's, it's a bit too blurry. So I'm going to go back to like Intense. Okay. And honestly, there is still a lot of color noise and other things. So I'm going to go to the Adjust. And on color noise, I'm going to boost color noise a lot because color noise is what disturbs me the most on this photo. See what that's going to give me, especially here around the windows. And uh, luminous noise, I think I'm going to go a bit stronger on this one. Yeah, that's way too strong. I'm going to go back a little bit. Oh, I still want some detail. Yeah, this is, okay, this is not so bad. This is not so bad. Uh, let's see if we can add some structure. Bring back some structure. Uh, go even more on color noise. Because there's still a bit of things there. I mean, this one is was very noisy. And uh, it didn't do as much as a good job than it did with the raw file, but it's really good. Like check out here in the sky. I don't know if you can see on the video, but like check here, like all the noise here and there's no noise there anymore. Maybe it's a bit too much. I mean, you just, you know, play around with the, the luminance slider. This one is very, very sensitive, you know, until you've got something, but this is really decent. If I wanted to make a big print, this is really decent. Let's apply the results so that it really does the, the good job on it. And then uh, uh, let's see. So let's move in, see to compare. So on my right is the original iPhone photo. Look how noisy it is. And on my left, it's the corrected version photo. I mean, it's, you know, it's an iPhone photo. So it's not great quality pixel, but it did a really decent, like especially here. Like see how this is really much nicer. I mean, I would definitely print this one. And, uh, but where it's the most impressive, I mean, it totally saved this photo like, that I just couldn't put into a book and now I can put it into the book thanks to this uh, very nice plugin. So if you do tech, you know, like for example, if you do wedding photos for wedding photographers that cannot be shooting on a tripod or for people, you know, doing low, uh, you know, um, events where they are taking uh, low light photos where there's a lot of people moving, a lot of uh, shadows and a lot of noise. It's amazing. It really is amazing. So check them out. It's a really cool little plugin.